Hi, it's Clark. And Emily. And we're on Sailing Vessel Temptress. And this is our June 2019 adventure log. Over the last 30 days, we've been traveling. We uh, took the northern route back uh, from uh, Georgetown, so we went to Cat Island, Eleuthera, and the Abacos. A lot happened during that trip, but we're not gonna go into a lot of detail here because we're doing a whole series on the actual travel. Uh, it kind of fits in better that way. Mm -hmm. We're now in Port St. Lucie, and my God, is Florida hot and humid. It we're is. trying to get used to this. Mm -hmm. We are currently anchored um, in Port St. Lucie. Um, we have a deal with a local marina that we can use their dinghy dock and their showers and their restrooms uh, and get some AC every once in a while. <laughs> um, so there's a pretty good deal. Um, for this month, anyway, we're still looking for another place to go next month. Um, and again, subscribe so that you get updates about those uh, travels that we did this month. And also stay tuned and make sure you subscribe because we have trips coming up to New York and Michigan and Wisconsin to visit our families. Mm -hmm. And then of course in September going to Africa. So that's going to be really exciting. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, but this adventure log will probably be a little bit shorter um, because we're not going to go through all the detail of everything that happened this month. It was just too much stuff. Yeah. As we said, we've been traveling, so we don't spend as much money when we're traveling. There's just not the opportunities. Uh, well, until we got here, because Florida is expensive. What did we spend this month, Emily? Our total spending was uh, $560 for the trip part of the month. Uh -huh. um, that included about $400 for food, wine and alcohol, I think, that we restocked before we left. Uh, we spent about $50 at restaurants, got a couple souvenirs, had some trash disposal fees, but total was $560, so not too bad. Uh, when we got back to Florida, we took a trip to the grocery store and got a few other things that brought us up to $743 for the month, but we wanted to separate it out so you see the cruising life really wasn't too expensive this month, and then yeah. when we got back, we kind of restocked for things for July. So and we got ice cream. We got ice cream. I think we probably spent... $30 on ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have a freezer that doesn't isn't cold enough for ice cream, so when uh -huh. we get to civilization, sometimes we yeah. splurge. And yeah, so we've been like years without ice cream. Also, we don't eat that much. It's just splurging now. Mm -hmm. Also, I've started some big spending, but that'll be in another video, and that's uh, all the projects we're doing on the boat. Mm -hmm. We're keeping a, a log every month of our, our ongoing living expenses, but then we're also going to keep track of all our big expenses while we're refitting and restocking the boat for the next trip. So mm -hmm. uh, at the end of this year, you'll have a full year of what did it cost us to live this life and prep for a big trip and all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of projects and activities, there were some big projects, lots of varnishing. Well, varni of Emily varnished the whole boat again. It looks absolutely perfect now. Uh, at least varnish wise. Uh, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. We had a windless break uh, when we were in the Abacos, I think. Yeah, yeah, and a wash down pump, both when we really needed them, mm -hmm. but uh, had spare parts on board, so it didn't take very long at all to fix them. Yeah, we had to clean the bottom again a few times. Yeah. We went down there. So we've been busy with projects and so many activities. Again, stay tuned because we're going to go into way more detail on all those things. Sure. Um, but uh, in terms of the best and worst, for this month? Whew, well, <laughs> one of the worst is the Florida weather. Every summer you have to get used to this. It's just hot and sticky. Mm -hmm. And the Bahamas are so much cooler, so much more pleasant. You just come across that Gulf Stream and the world changes. Florida's a swamp. Yeah, it's very hot here. Uh, we also had a lot of dragging at the, in the kind of the last leg of our trip in the Abagos. Our anchor drug a lot. We had a lot of squally weather especially in Manjack, um, so that was a little bit frustrating. I've had that anchor for a long time and I had good confidence in it and it worked well and I, I'm i replacing it for the next trip and I think it knows. Mm -hmm. I think it's decided that it was putting an extra effort and now it's slacking off. Yeah. So we'll have a new anchor before we go off, something modern. Mm -hmm. What about the best part? Well, seeing the Northern Bahamas was pretty cool. I've never gone up there, uh, and it's very different. It's a little more touristy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was nice to see a lot of new places that we hadn't mm -hmm. seen before. We've done the Exumas uh, and some other places, but this was our first time through the Abacos, and we didn't do everything. Uh, we certainly skipped over some stuff. Oh, yeah. But I think when we go back, we might go through the Abacos on the way back down to Georgetown next year. Yeah, and we... We had some time limitations. We had an issue with immigration. 
Uh, so we only had two weeks to get out. We rushed. And then we went to another immigration officer and they're like, oh yeah, you got another two weeks. So mm -hmm. we took our time, but at the end. So there's places we want to see and uh, things we want to do a little differently on the way back down. Mm -hmm. uh, intentional living is something that we want to talk about every month. Intentional living is uh, kind of the reason that we're out here doing mm -hmm. this, is knowing and understanding and being connected to all the things that we're doing and the choices that we're making. Uh, and I think now that we're in the States, it is a little bit different. It's uh, so easy to have like lifestyle inflation. We're buying a lot of stuff. We're going to be spending quite a bit of money on the boat because it's going to be like the next five years of our life and things to make our life better. So we really thought these through and made a huge list and we're going to buy those things. But it's just so easy to say, I don't know, I can't think of an example. I'm trying not to be able to think of yeah, examples of ways to, to blow money in the States. Blow money, like you said. It's, mm -hmm. you know, get used to being in the AC inside and just life can get a lot more comfortable, mm -hmm. but in a way that detracts from us getting the work done that we need to get done before we get out. So we're trying, trying to keep that cruising mentality and the money saving mentality, sure. even though we're here in the States where we have those things accessible to yeah. us. One of the problems I'm having is the only place where we can get cool, like at three o'clock when it's really hot, is this lounge. And there's always a TV running and it's always running absolutely inane crap. Mm -hmm. And you look at a TV, you just can't help it. And oh, I don't want to get addicted to TV again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I guess the only thing left is to say thank you. Well, uh, we'd like to thank Adventure Man Dan. We met him in Georgetown, and we've kind of sort of been buddy boating a bit. Uh, we keep running into each other anyway, and we've decided both to come to the same bay. So he's anchored right over there. We're gonna be helping each other with our refit this summer. And we wanna thank John D., one of our patrons. He turned us on to this place, and it's a pretty good deal. It was a great to have a place that we knew we could land and we didn't have to go searching around while we were tired from the crossing. Mm-hmm. Thank you also to Andrew and Linda and Trucker and Jay who are coming this weekend to pick us up and bring us back to our house uh, so we can get our cars registered, mm -hmm. get back on the road and start running errands and getting things done. And thank you to all of our patrons and everybody who's been watching and commenting on our videos. Our patrons this month, uh, as you probably know from last month, we put all your names on a coconut. <laughs> and, and as we were crossing the Gulf Stream about halfway, we threw that coconut overboard and it's off to become a coconut tree somewhere. Uh, I expect it's going to find the perfect beach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it will grow into better things as we hope our channel will and um, it'll be good. Yep. Since Saturday, it's been traveling three knots due north. Stay tuned. Subscribe so that you are up to date with all of our adventure series that we're launching on August 1st for all these travels and all the great travels coming up. We appreciate you and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Bye.